Utila is a small island off the Caribbean coast of Honduras. At 18 by 6 kilometres, this exceptionally small island is home to around 3,500 permanent residents and sits within part of a larger island system within Honduras known as the Bay Islands. These idyllic islands collectively draw over a million annual tourists, making the Bay Islands one of Honduras's most important tourism hubs. The animal that epitomises Utila most is the whale shark. Revered in folklore and legend on the island, the juvenile whale shark's Utila seas can weigh around 19,000 kilos and reach nearly 19 metres when fully grown. While they are not technically a whale, their mere size grants the name whale sharks as they are the largest fish in the sea. Unfortunately, these animals are being threatened due to climate change, pollution, overfishing and human activity, creating added stresses to the already fragile ecosystem on which the island depends for its tourism. About 30 years ago, that was about the first time. That's when we had big wheel sharks around. I don't know, this year we had small ones around, so I don't know where the big ones at, maybe. But most of all they come, they come to see the whale shark. That's uh, what they priority to come down here to dive, just to see the whale shark. People crave encounters with the largest animals in the ocean, and this demand for wild encounters brings people to the island. anywhere in the world to dive, but I knew that Utila had a history of seeing whale sharks year round, and so I chose the spot that had the highest likelihood of seeing whale sharks, and that happened to be Utila, the Bay Islands, Honduras in general. And I just remember just so many emotions just rolling over my body of, like, holy cow, that's literally a living organism that's that large and right in front of me. It was absolutely insane, and I will never forget and it was a 15 minute 15 second experience i saw it 15 seconds one time that was it and it stays with me as one of the most memorable. over the past decade whale shark sightings on utila have decreased with less and less whale shark sightings utila is threatened with losing the reputation as a whale shark hub I think whale sharks are very respected on this island, however they do have a direct correlation to tourism and therefore income for captains, dive shop owners. So was all created guidelines back in 2008 uh, put in place to protect whale sharks and to ensure their longevity of coming here and that we get to appreciate them and spend time with them. However, a lot of the violations um, a lot of the guidelines are violated, normally by overcrowding, so too many people in the water at any one time with the whale shark. This always results in a reaction of stress, um, so the whale shark either abruptly changes direction or does a big deep dive. We're worrying that the more people are violating the guidelines, um, the less we're going to see them and the less these whale sharks are going to want to keep coming back. Uh, it's also affecting their feeding. If they're being disrupted, they're not able to feed properly. So over the years, I think consistently the overcrowding has been an issue. Um, however, now we're just seeing less and less of them. So I think captains and boat shop owners should be worried. And maybe after 2021, with such a decrease in sightings, maybe this is our chance to finally get everyone to come together and to take note of that. I've been super into marine conservation since I was nine years old. And I remember getting a lot of inspiration from Animal Planet and the Discovery Channel and National Geographic and the thing that always drew me to these causes and to the protection of the ocean are the creatures that live in it. So seeing incredible pictures of whales and videos of sharks and these animals that are just absolutely incredible inspired people. They inspired me and it's the reason that I'm here and those types of visuals are the reason that people get so excited about the ocean. And it's it's hard to think of what the ocean would be like without the massive giants that swim around it because for a lot of people that's their inspiration for protecting it. Why, why would we protect the ocean if there's nothing in it? When whale sharks are present, fish populations are thriving and plankton is abundant. As a keystone species, their disappearance can indicate environmental changes affecting the reef system on Utila. 
Whale shark disappearance is acting as a huge warning sign that something is not right within the habitat. And if they disappear, the entire economy of the island could be threatened due to the reliance on marine tourism. If whale sharks disappeared from this island, I know that there would still be a great diving community, but it would be different. There's something that happens on the island when whale sharks are seen that is unlike anything else. And it's this sense of excitement that you get all across the island for people that are just talking about it. You hear it about it when you go into hot spot, when, when you sit down and you hear about people talking about, oh, there was a whale shark scene on the island. Did you see it? Like, who else has seen it? Like, I gotta see it in the next week or something. It's the talk of the entire island. There's nothing else that has that effect. It's just something that you don't know if you're gonna see it or not. And it's just, a, a, it's, it provides this entire sense of positivity and, and hope that there's going to be good things on the island. And without the whale sharks, I think that a little bit of that hope disappears. I think that um, there's a little bit less hope that the environment is doing okay. And Livelihoods of uh, several people depend on their presence. Like for example, boat captains, dive operators, uh, dive masters, instructors. Why? Because whenever we jump in the water, uh, when whale sharks are over there, uh, people get paid, people get tips of this. Uh, so a lot of things would change. Why the captains around this island fight for is to show the guests the whale shark and there will be a, um, the income of money for the captain. They will tip the captain, see? But uh, things are so, so slow now and uh, no whale sharks. Is, it's a hurt, it's a hurt, big hurt on the, on the captains now. That's where we make our tips, our money, on the whale sharks and the dolphins. I'll give up driving boat. Ten thousand species go extinct every single year. If we want to prevent whale sharks from joining that count, we must continue to raise awareness, practice safe encounter protocols when encountering marine animals, and do our part to protect the ocean home in which they live. <laughs>